I want to show you a scrubber that's really been a game changer for me uh, in the sense that it's eliminated the use of the dishwasher. Very easy. So you get these at the dollar store, and if you can get one where the back of the handle screws off, that's better because it's got a wider opening to pour the detergent in. Uh, but these are fine. These are typically what's going to be available. So you pick out this, uh, this stopper here, and you fill it with detergent, like so. And you uh, close your back up. Right? I just go in here, I can hold this with one hand, and I scrub it out like this, and that's it. Now typically, I don't even put the dishes in the sink, because as soon as I use it, if I don't do it right away, I put it off to the side. But even if I put it in the sink, that's fine. I just flip it over like this. And it's so handy to use that I rinse it, right? Put it off to the side, and bam, that's it. Now one thing I will tell you is every one I've had of these, they leak. They leak from here, right? So you don't want to just put it on the kitchen counter. What you want to do is you want to have this bowl here, right? So when it leaks, it leaks into the bowl. You don't waste your detergent because it's leaking so much. I just swipe up some extra detergent, continue on my day. At some point, it'll leak to, you know, to the degree that it's just not even worth it. So you go back to the dollar store and you get like a couple more of these. But you see how handy this is, right? I do my dishes. And then when I'm done, stick it in there. And that's it. I never have to touch a dishwasher. The scrubber's great for dishes and single utensils. We're going to go over a couple other scenarios. One is the sink itself, and the next are a collection of utensils. So first of all, we'll do the sink. And as you can see here, there's some rusted areas around the sink. Uh, very easy. What we're going to do is we're going to take this product, Barkeeper Friend, and we're going to dump it onto the rusted areas. Okay, And this is not that expensive, so feel free to use this uh, fairly liberally. And I'm going to take a little bit of water and pour it on there, and we want to kind of create a little bit of a, of a, of a paste with this. In the interim, we're going to address the worst case scenario for a collection of utensils, and that is when the utensils have rust on them and there's a lot of them. So that's simple. We're going to use an old mechanics trick uh, where you have vehicle components, especially electrical components, that have rust on them. And the, and the problem is the rust is that it prevents a clean connection uh, for electrical current. And so what is done typically is the components are removed, placed in you know, a, a fat, with vinegar, such as this cleaning vinegar, that is pretty cheap, and that sit overnight until the rust just comes off the next morning. If there's a little bit of stubborn rust left, it can be scraped off with something similar to this. So we're going to apply that same principle here to our utensils. What we're going to do is we're going to take this collection of utensils and we are going to dump it in here, and we're going to pour the cleaning solution in. and we're gonna let it soak. Now we probably don't need to soak it overnight. I'll check it every so often. But we should be able to get the rust off just by doing this. And then any remaining rust, if it's that stubborn, can be scraped off with the brush. So, That's our solution. We're going to let it sit. And we'll check it every, maybe every couple hours. And notice that it didn't get quite to the top of some of the rusted utensils, so we're going to flip them after a while. Now let's check and see how our sink is doing. This surface looks pretty clean. This side's looking pretty clean too. This side's looking good. 
And I might need a little bit more water here to make that paste, but it's actually, all oh, this rust has gotten rid of already. Yeah, that rust is pretty much gone. So, if you notice what we had before versus now, no more rust on the sink. Most of our components came out of this vinegar cleaning solution rust free after a day. However, this can opener did not. It still looked quite rusted like this one. All right? And you can see all the rust within the intricate working components. The temptation is to take a scrubber and some more aggressive solution and start scrubbing down these components. However, the plastic bristles on the brush will actually whisk away the cleaning solution and really not do you much good in, in cleaning um, these components that are very intricate here, as you know, as obvious. Uh, the answer is simple. Time and patience. All I did was resubmerge this um, opener back into the same solution, left it there for a few more days, and bring it out, and look at that. There is no rust on any of these wheels. For these, I'll just, for the inside, you can't really, the scrubber is good on the outside, but you can't really get it in on the inside. So I'll just put like a little bit of water on the bottom, just so nothing sticks, right? And then I'll give it a squirt of detergent here and here. And then I'll fill it up and let that sit overnight. So just, just to the top there. We've waited our 24 hours. Probably don't need to wait that long, but just other things going on. This is a glass full of the detergent. There's some crusty stuff on the bottom, as you can see. But with this uh, handy pole style brush, we're just gonna work it in here and get it out. And now you can already see the inside is pretty much clean as a whistle. Uh, we didn't do the outside, but that's fine because that can easily be done with the uh, the scrubber. So I'll just kind of show you one glass. How we're taking this from a pretty deplorable state to brand spanking new. And all these materials very easily obtained at a dollar store. Now, look at that. You can easily drink out of this glass again.